Good day friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another Tinkercad tutorial. Today though, it's gonna be on an iPad, so let's get cracking. Friends, before I get started, I do wanna let you know I am gonna be talking about and using a keyboard. This is just a generic Bluetooth keyboard. Any keyboard that you have at least gives you access to the shortcut keys, which I find invaluable. Friends, without any further ado, let's start designing. Alrighty friends, so as you can see, keyboard is attached. We got the sweet little stand that goes with it. At the moment, I'm not using the keyboard. I'll show you why in a minute. So first, that's how you launch Tinkercad. I always choose sign in with Google. You'll probably see designs. I've got classes because I'm a teacher. We're gonna hit plus for new, and we're gonna make a brand new 3D design. When it launches, we're gonna name the file. So this is where I show you the built-in keyboard. It works like this, and I'm gonna name this house, just like that. When you click out here, it makes it permanent. Your project will now save in the cloud. When you're done, if you just hit Tinkercad, that will be built. Now, the first piece we're gonna use is this cube. Drag it out and set it down. Notice if you drag here, it moves the world around. You can also use the cube to click on these various words like front, top, so on and so forth as you work on your project. If you open your fingers up, it zooms in. If you pinch your fingers together, it zooms out just like that. If you click on the item, you can drag it and move it. Now we're gonna make the house. So the first thing we're gonna do is change the measurements. You can drag these handles, but I don't want to, I wanna be perfect. So I'm gonna click on a handle and I want you to type a number. We're gonna do 70. Notice if you pull down, it switches to the 70, but we need to backspace first. So there's my seven and my zero, and then we can click OK, and it will snap to that measurement. So I'm gonna click on this corner, and instead of 20, I want a backspace, and I'm gonna tell you to type 50. So there's a five and a zero and an OK, just like that. All right, friends, so we're gonna stretch the height by just lifting that up, but then I want you to click in the box, and I want you to backspace over that and make it 40. So once again, drag down, drag down. At this point, friends, I'm gonna enable my keyboard. So the rest of the typing will be here, but I wanted you to see how you can type even if you don't have an external keyboard attached. All right, friends, so we've got this awesome house. I wanna cut out the walls. Let me show you how slick this is. We're gonna hit duplicate. So right there now, there are two of them. If we drag them away, we can make the second one what's called a hole. Now we need to make its measurement smaller. So I'm gonna click on the little handle I'm gonna click where the 70 was. Now I'm typing with my keyboard and I want you to type 66. So we subtracted four. On this side, notice if you miss, you just gotta click and grab again. Notice you click the box and we're gonna backspace and we're gonna make that one 46. Once again, subtracting four on each side. And then I wanna make it taller. If you can just stretch it, whatever height you pick is fine. It just makes it easier as we move them around. Now we wanna get that right in the middle. Right now I'm close. We're gonna make it perfect by holding this modifier and clicking the red one. So now it says there are two shapes selected. This button right here is called a line. On the front, there are three handles here. We want the middle handle. So boom, see how it's gray? And then I always recommend looking at it from the side so you can see it better. And we want that middle handle just like that. Now notice I missed and you can see it's way off. Once again, we're gonna do shift select. Click on that align tool. I want the red one to be the boss. And then boom, we're gonna click on that little button so that it sits in the center, just like that. See the gray button there? And if we look over here, gray button there, that means it's aligned. Friends, this is my favorite part. Let's hit group and boom, you have instantly got cut out walls for your house. Now friends, we're gonna put this right to a corner you probably have to drag it to the corner unless you have a keyboard. If you do have a keyboard, you can just move it to those corners. I'm gonna tell you to change this to size five for our nudge. All right, so now that we've got that nudge set, bring down your shape and make sure you snap it to one of those corners so we're on the grid exactly. And now because we've set that nudge to five, if we drag that over, boom, it snaps to size 10 instantly. For the height, I want it to be 15, so I only drag it down one chunk. Let's look at this from the top. We want to move it in so it's going to cut. Notice I accidentally shrunk it. I'm going to just do undo. 
And then I'm gonna do fit view so I can zoom in on that. Now I push it into the wall. Let's do home view so we can see that it cuts through and we want to align it. So now I'm gonna use that modifier to click on both of them and I'm gonna click on align and I want it to be in the middle. Now it already is because I had done those other nudges. That is absolutely magical. Since it is gonna cut through, we can simply hit group and boom, we have just cut a door in. Now I wanna make this look like a house color so you can pick any color you want. I'm gonna pick a brown and then I'm gonna add a door. Same trick as before, I bring it out. I'm gonna do that fit view and I'm gonna make sure I have it on one of these corners so you can see it lined up right there. I have got it lined up with that corner so now I can grab this little handle and move it two clicks in and one click down. And then I need to take this measurement and because the thickness of our walls was two, I need to make it two and press enter. At this point, I'm gonna switch my nudge back to size one. And then because I've got arrow keys, I can just nudge it into that spot. If you don't have the arrow keys, you can move it into that spot. And of course, you can pick the color you want your door to be. Friends, now I'm gonna click my home button so we can see the whole house. That's looking pretty fantastic. Right now I wanna add some cool windows. Once again, we're gonna bring out a whole cube. We need this cube to be 10 by 10. All right, friends, so this trick's pretty fun. I'm gonna hold the modifier and I'm gonna stretch this to whatever size I want but then I'm gonna click the box and I'm gonna backspace and I type 10 and press enter. It snaps the entire piece to that size. That skill is a game changer. Now I'm gonna switch to my five millimeter nudge again and I'm gonna put this all the way over on that side. Now that was an oops, don't forget undo is right there. Let's zoom in so I can see better. Now I'm gonna pinch to zoom out just a little and let's get this over to that spot. So I want it right on the end. Once again, I stretched instead of moving, so I'm gonna undo. There we are. Now that is lined up, I'm gonna pinch so you can see this a little better. And are you ready? I'm gonna do one click in and it moves five millimeters just like that. I'm gonna hold control and tap up and it raises up. That control button's magic. Now you could have lifted with the cone, but it's a little harder to grab. See, I missed. I'm gonna try again. So I'm clicking on my little window and there I missed again. So that's why I love using control up when I'm trying to move something up. Now I want two of these windows. Let me show you how we make that happen. We're just gonna use the sweet duplicate button and then we can use the arrows to move it across to the other side. Once again, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Notice I used two fingers on two hands that time. Friends, the next step is to cut those all out. So I'm selecting the window holding down shift, clicking on the other window, and then clicking on the building. I will note that does take a couple times to get good at it. And then when you hit group, boom, your windows are cut into your house. At this point, we're gonna add a roof. Let me show you how slick this is. If we click to the top view, see this flat edge. We're gonna put the work plane on that flat edge. What that does is it makes it so the next part we bring out sits right on it. So I'm gonna put the roof right there. Now I'm gonna use the black handles to make it quite a bit larger. Let's spin around, make it quite a bit larger this way. Remember, if you ever miss, just do undo. I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna use undo a lot because it does take a little bit of time to get used to working this way. And then I'm gonna stretch that up. I do wanna highlight that stretching it up from this angle is usually a lot easier. Now we need to line these all up. I'm gonna put the work plane back on the ground and I don't want this to move, so I'm going to padlock it. I don't want the door to move, so I'm gonna padlock it as well. Now we're gonna do select and shift select, so we've got those two. And I wanna click a line. I wanna make the house the boss and I wanna hit that dot right there. So boom, it just moved the roof right where we need it. I'm gonna spin this around so I can see it as well. Notice I can do two finger drag so I get that lined up. And then I can click right on that dot to get it lined up exactly like I like. And I missed, so I'm gonna do it again. Shift select, align, boom. Now it is lined up. Maybe last time it just wasn't showing up as highlighted. I'm gonna click somewhere else. I'm gonna click on my roof. I wanna make my roof a different color. I'm gonna make it a darker gray. 
And friends, you have just built a simple house in Tinkercad. Friends, there's so much room for you to have fun and make this totally awesome. I'm going to just go to Creatures and Characters and check it out. There are so many fun people you can bring in here. Just make sure you're patient. You can see here there's a rotation handle. If you stay close to the dude, it goes 90 degrees at a time. There's a ton of stuff you can have fun with as you make this house unbelievably awesome. So when yours has reached an epic status, make sure you hit the Tinkercad button to go back. That is how you save it. You can see that your design is right there saved. And it's even more fun if you can see it in the gallery. So real quickly, I'm gonna show you, this is the gallery. These are called staff favorites. If you click over here, you can see recent designs. This will show you some of the new stuff that's been created. Now, when you see these, make sure you click on them because they have these awesome things called reactions. You can click on that and let somebody somewhere in the world know that you thought their project was absolutely amazing. In order for you to make yours show up, all you have to do is click right here, click up on the gear, and then change its properties. You can give it a description, you can enter tags, but the most important one is to make it public. And then I always tell you, do no derivatives because this is from a tutorial. You want other people to follow the tutorial as well instead of just copying your work. And you can keep an eye out for reactions from others. If you're wondering about reactions, you will be able to see them down here on the corner of the designs and you'll be able to keep track of them up in your feed as well. Friends, I hope you had fun and learned a lot during that tutorial. Hopefully you'll get to a point where your Tinkercad skills are good enough. You can watch any of my tutorials and convert what I say to what you're using on your iPad. Friends, of course, I hope you totally enjoyed that video and if you did, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.